What's the word, y'all? Ignore my forehead. You are going to focus in on my eyes and everything below it, okay? Okay, look at that. I'll just keep this, this twist right here the entire video. And, ah, okay. So the last time we talked about Ben Simmons on this channel, I was basically saying like, I, I felt like I was beating a dead horse. Every single day, things got worse and worse between Ben Simmons and the 76ers. And I had made a vow not to talk about things again until it was resolved, whether it meant a trade or whatever. And today, um, out of nowhere, we got this from Woj. I think Woj was first. I don't, I don't know. Does it matter? I, are you one of them first people? Do you care about being first? Or do you care about being right? Or do you care about being... I don't know. Sixers officials and clutch CEO Rich Paul have progressed in talks over recent days on a resolution to bring all-star Ben Simmons back to Philadelphia in the near future. That came out of nowhere. Then it was a quote from Adrian Wojnarowski that said, The plan remains for the 76 to continue canvassing the league for trades, but the possibility of Simmons reporting to the team has increased in recent days, sources tell ESPN. I just read two filled tweets and did not stutter. Thank you. Thank you. Dyslexia where? And what was the catalyst for Ben Simmons and his team saying, ah, uh, I guess I guess we'll come. It was the dollar. Say what you want. I don't care how much money you've made in your career or how much money you are promised over the next four years. Missing out on 30 plus million dollars? Don't seem like nothing nobody wanted to do. The 76ers stood their ground and called the bluff. And you know what? I respect the 76ers for that. They had told everybody, we will not cave in and we will not trade Ben Simmons for a package that we don't deem to be enough. And just two days ago, they was like, hey, uh, to Portland Trailblazers, we want CJ McCollum, three first round picks and two pick swaps. They are they were on that heel that we will not trade him away if we not get it back the exact package that we want. And it worked out because Ben Simmons is back. Them boys was, I think it was promised like $8 million a couple days ago. The net money didn't hit the bank account. And Rich Paul and them was like, hey, you know, it, 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 it wouldn't be bad to show face. <laughs> it wouldn't be bad to just show up and see what happens. Now, I've been, I've been debating with myself over the past couple weeks about this whole Ben Simmons thing, trying to figure out how I actually feel about it. Because on one hand, I am completely a part of the player empowerment movement. I do believe that players deserve the right to, to request a trade if something is not working out. But Ben Simmons' one was so different than anything we've ever seen in history that I couldn't completely be on Ben Simmons' side. Like, I'm, I'm going to use this team, for example, and this player, for example, not, not a shot at them or anything, just the fact that this is a small market team. Hypothetically, if Carl Anthony Towns were to do the same thing for the Minnesota Timberwolves where he signed an extension and then he's like, you know what, I don't even want to play for y'all no more, so I'm not going to report to do nothing, that is a detriment to the entire city of Minnesota and that whole organization. So I can't be on Ben Simmons' side completely, even though I understand the fact that he wants to be traded. I just can't agree with the way they went about it. And overall, it was just a big old bluff. And you're like, Kenny, how is this different than, than James Harden from when James Harden requested out? James Harden showed up. He was hooping. He might not have been given his best foot or come into press conference afterwards and say, I don't think we got, I don't think we're good enough. That type of thing. And you can decide for yourself which one is more toxic. Is it being in the locker room and being like anti this team? Or is it being completely away from the team, avoiding everything and then coming back? Because that first walk into the practice facility is about to be as awkward as it gets. Joel and B's talking. Everybody in the, the whole city of Philadelphia is talking. I don't care. I don't care what is on TV. That first game in Philadelphia better be on national TV. Flex everything. I don't care. Put it on all the major channels. I need to see what happens with Ben Simmons in that first game and his reception from the fans because the last time that man played, uh, things were not great. And all the, the things that went on this offseason, there's there's not that many Ben Simmons supporters left in Philadelphia. Ben Simmons for a bag of right now bye ben any thoughts on the sixers ben simmons. there you go so i made a poll after the ben simmons news um dropped and i asked philly fans how you feeling 10 percent of them said i'm happy ben simmons come back 17 percent of them said i'm mad ben simmons stay at home and 73 percent of the people that aren't a fan of any of the team but wanted to know the results so what i'm just saying is the majority of the fans the philadelphia 76 fans that voted on my poll were like they're upset that ben simmons is coming back probably because it is it is super toxic. And say what you want about Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid as a pairing. They're going to be a really good regular season team, all things considered. Now, I, I would guess that the thing that Daryl Morey and the seven, Elton Brand and the 76ers camp is telling Ben Simmons is that just come play for us and we will get you out of here by All-Star. 
I'm sure that's type of co- the type of conversation they had with, with James Harden, too. Like, listen, we hear the fact that you are uh, upset here, but we do want you to be here until you're not. So come in, play ball, and let's see what happens. Now, now Ben Simmons is in a tough spot because if he come in and he's he killing it, what they going to do this trade value? Make it even higher. These I just told you they want a CJ and basically five first round picks. If Ben Simmons comes in is even better, they're gonna be like, oh, we want CJ and six first round picks and seven first round picks. But you also don't want to be terrible because you got the whole city that's willing to throw beer bottles at your head. So Ben Simmons is in the tough position that he set himself up for. Oh yeah. If you just report, ignore the fact that the fans are burning your jerseys and stuff. I know it's hard. I'm I'm saying it like it's easy to ignore the fact that the whole city is after you. But like if you just came into camp day number one and tried to keep it as professional as possible, maybe walked in and told them, hey, I'm unha- I'm unhappy. Please get me out of here. You wouldn't be in a position where everybody still hates you. Where your teammates were like, hey, we've been trying to call a boy for two months and no nobody picked up. I would be hurt as a teammate, bro. You just walk in and you... You, you, this is this my star point guard? Hey, Tommy Maxey, you've been kind of cool in, in preseason so far. So it's just a, a very weird scenario situation. I can't wait to watch it. I can't wait to turn on the TV and they say starting at guard. What do they say? Point guard? Do they say powerful? I don't know. Ben Simmons. And the crowd goes wild with booze. Yep. And what version of Ben Simmons are we getting, bro? What version of Ben Simmons are we getting? Offseason drop. He dropped a whole mixtape of him killing... Against Joe Johnson and, and a bunch of other players where he's shooting threes and stuff. If you doing that, bro, you don't even need to request a trade, G. <laughs> That's it. The man put his house for sale in Philly. Are we just Airbnb in it for the next two months? What's the word? We stay in the hotels in Philly? What's the word? I don't understand. But again, at the end of the day, the thing that, that holds the most value is not your morals, not your wants. It's it's the money. It's the money. I, I got a report, bro. That's $30 million this season, $30 plus million. I can't afford to actually miss that. I know we told the world they were willing to forego this entire year's contract, and they called the bluff. 76 is called the bluff. And just like an hour or so before that, this is from M- um, NBC Sports. Ben Simmons reportedly would have no problem going to Sacramento, which is a fire, in my opinion. I would love that. So this is from David Aldrich at The Athletic. He said, I've written this on the Simmons to sack before, and the rationale still holds. Simmons is an elite defensive player. He is an elite passer. He has four years left on his deal. The Kings were historically bad defensively last season. Yes, they were. Simmons wouldn't be the savior, but him and Fox, whichever one of Halliburton and Mitchell, the Kings kept in the scenario. I I don't want Tyrese to get traded. That would be, <laughs> as a friend of his, I don't want <laughs> um, to sack would suddenly become a problem defensively, wildly switchable, and able to get from defense to offense in a heartbeat. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they just mean Ben Simmons is open to go anywhere because that's <laughs> that's what he wants. He's willing to go anywhere that's not Philadelphia. So I don't know. Um, playing is the right thing to do, Ben. I legit think that playing is the right thing to do because maybe teams would be willing to give up all of that if you come in and hoop very well. Um, I, if he is still here at the trade deadline, this is one of the craziest stories of redemption for an organization and player together. Even deeper than that, if they end up being wildly successful, I can't imagine. I can't wait to tell my future kids about the Ben Simmons stuff that happened in the 2021 offseason and then they went on to win a championship. I don't know. Let me know what you think about the Ben Simmons situation. And hopefully the next time we talk about all of this is after a trade.